Please welcome Michael Stone. All right, good evening. Please watch my video. Hey, what's up? My name's Michael and I like to knit. I used to play football. I was actually pretty good, but had a lower back injury, ended my career. Yeah, that sucked. So I started making stuff. First learned to knit last year. Oh, thanks mom, Nana, and Grandma Sal. Hi Michael. Hi Michael. Hello Michael. And it's cool because I build things that did not exist the day before. Not to mention its meditative qualities are good for your head. They chill me out. Just ask Betson. The meditative creative and social benefits of knitting since 2005. So I'm just trying to share the love with my project called Out of Hand. I'm going to be making some how to's and some this and some that about knitting. I think that you should probably tune in and see what knitting can do for you. All right. So, hey, what's up? My name's Michael and I like to knit. And the transitions I experienced after football weren't just physical. They threw me off my game mentally and socially, too. So, out of hand is for people in transition. It's a meditative tool for those who can't meditate, a resource for learning how to build stuff from nothing, and oh yeah, it's about knitting. Now, this begins with people in acute transition, excuse me, now this begins with uh, people in acute transition, like career-ending sports injuries. Yeah, sure and also the nearly 8 million people in the U.S. with PTSD. From there, it trickles down to everyday cases of anxiety, stress, and pain. Now, these numbers are big, but they don't really tell the full story, like that of Chris, an Air Force Special Operations veteran who feels severely limited from doing the one thing he truly feels called to do, which is to continue fighting and serving for his country. I met Chris a couple weeks ago at a workshop I run at the VA, the Veteran Affairs Hospital over on uh, First Avenue. I teach knitting once a week, and um, it was one of the first times he's felt comfortable joining a group activity, and the repetition involved in knitting has actually reduced the tremor in his left hand. It's really powerful. Studies of thousands of people have also shown it to reduce anxiety for almost all of them as well as stress, help them cope with health challenges, feel accomplishment, and just straight up feel happy. Now this is great, right? This is great. But there's one challenge. What do you think of when you hear the word knitting? Well, that's kind of what Google thinks too, <laughs> which is fascinating, both from a historical perspective, which you can ask me about after the show, but also because men actually like it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so my name is Michael, and I'm here with my friend Fani. What's up? My name's Afani Moma. I'm currently playing with the Arizona Cardinals. You ever knit? Never knitted a day in my life. Right, today we're going to learn. I'm excited. Uh, we're going to tap it to the left of this first stitch. Like, how would, you, how would you compare that? Swim, though. Swim, come on. Or if you're running around. So maybe we should call it the swim technique. The swim tech. I kind of like that. Swim move. Swim move. Oh! I kind of am relaxing the eyes. You get the hang of it. <laughs> Looking at you guys. And then, loop. Boom. Oh, what's up? Oh, that's oh, okay. oh, and that's a wrap, people. Oh, right. That's a faith, bro. That's a faith. <laughs> All right, sweet. So I started making videos. And so far, we've got over 7,000 views, which isn't you know too bad. And uh, I was really doing this to share the love and also break down some of these cultural barriers. Some other communities I reached out to for this uh, were random people on the subway who were brave enough to try something new, and some really talented kids that understood the power of making with their hands. My videos also serve to teach knitting with four short tutorials that make it insanely easy to learn. So, in this knitting market, there's some flourishing brands, but all of them are really focusing on the fashion of knitting, whereas we focus on the process. And in the wellness industry, there's activities like yoga and there's you know, meditative apps like, um, like Headspace, but we make these benefits both physically and financially accessible 
while offering tangible progress along the way. You get to make stuff, guys. It's really cool, all right? So within the alternative medicine market, we're still using yoga as a really good benchmark. One, because they offer similar benefits. And two, because in the past 10 years, it's really become much more of a, a common activity, um, especially in the United States. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. My goal is to make knitting an accessible and common wellness practice. But honestly, yarn businesses have low margins. They've got low consumer awareness from, from the consumers I'm looking for in a niche market. And so the most viable means for me to achieve my goal is to really look into the business of becoming a social media influencer. So instead of making videos to create awareness to help support some other business that I'm working on, I'd rather be in the business of making videos themselves. So right now, I'm looking for grant funding of $25,000 to continue making really high quality videos, as well as to support my workshops that continue weekly at the, at the Veteran Affairs Hospital. And towards the end of this phase, I want to make uh, knitting kits and a Kickstarter. And this is to both productize the experience, but also as another way of spreading awareness about it, especially since uh, the sale of 375 of these will help 125 veterans with knitting kits of their own, people who really need it. In phases one and in phases two, I'm basically going to be leveraging this growing awareness to do cool stuff. Because how awesome would it be if Afani and the rest of the Arizona Cardinals were teaching veterans how to knit too? So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I really encourage you to check out my YouTube and also grab some knitting sticks and join with me in knit. Thank you.